Okay, for my friends, they finally acknowledged my research. They say new physics searches with single electromagnetic shower events, which I show at Fermilab short baseline neutrino program. Fermilab is the one that stood in the way of all this. They're saying right here, the observation of sterile neutrinos would provide physics beyond the standard model, as well as being a vital component in understanding the mass generation mechanism for neutrinos, which leads to free energy. This just came out in June 2023. They've been following my work. I know they have because I've been interacting with Fermilab and they have shut this down until it's become no longer possible to hide from the truth. Now this is a muon and that's the electron neutrino, muon neutrino, electron neutrino. Together they made the Dirac and here they are right here. I showed you this very clearly. And this is what they look like in their black and white phase, and this is the colored phase where this is red. Now remember, Fermilab said it would be fixed to black. Never change the size, ever. You just bash it around as much as you want, it stays the same size. But it has this glow around it, which is this glow right here. I'm, I'm showing precisely what they claimed. No difference whatsoever. However, once we put it through our Venturi, all the things changed. It accelerated like crazy, that particle, and broke apart here, and it came back to here. In the middle is electron showers. You see this? This is the muon neutrino, the black one. We turned it into a sterile muon. That is beyond the standard model. We turned the electron neutrino into electron showers. This is from CERN and Fermilab. This is not my doodle here. It says when this is what they want to see to break the standard model, and we did it. The muon became sterile, the black one all by itself. The white turned into a shower and went through the venturi, and then the black reattached here. In this phase right here, we have sterile electron neutrinos, and that is electricity that fills up your battery. It doesn't have any weight to speak of at all. Your battery weighs 10 pounds, and you drive for 100 miles, and when you come back, it's empty with electricity, but it still weighs 10 pounds. That's all you're putting in it is this white stuff. The black stuff has all the weight. And that also is what Fermilab said in their point particle article. Point particle article. I like that. <laughs> so we showed light accelerates. No question. I showed light slows down. No question. I showed that light can do fission right here. This is fission. That's fission. When you break something apart, it's fission. The, white, the black became a sterile muon. And then it came back together over here. That's fusion, fission and fusion. Raw, raw, raw electricity. This is electricity. That's not just raw electron showers, which it is, but it is raw electricity. All we have to do is push that down into a battery and we would have free energy. And this is how simple it is. Send in a laser to pulse the black particles can't get through, it just pushes the white through. through and it, it keeps banging them, so they're not, they're not coming back out. They're going through and they have to go somewhere and put them in a battery. And then go drive around all you want. And you could run this 24 hours a day. You know, there's going to be some engineering to do because Rod Warren did these experiments primarily. You know, I did some of them and a couple other people did some, but Rod Warren did basically all of them. Let's just go with Rod's work. Um, and it sure shows the black and the white. And the black is dark matter. That's a, Nobody ever knew it was there before. They always thought an electron was just this. It would glow and it would burn and it would do all the things electricity does. Nobody knew those two were attached together. And they still don't know it. Because when, when CERN and Fermilab do their collisions, this is what they see. They don't see. They have no idea what they're seeing. They they dig around in here for years and try to find the smallest little pieces. There, oh, we found another lepton. Well, we found a quark. Well, we found a hadron. Well, we found an axion. Well, we found. They got names coming out of your ears. The only thing that exists is the muon and electron neutrino, the Dirac. We live in a Dirac sea.